Well, first of all, I don't think that inflation is reaccelerating. Uh, I'd be interested in what data uh, David Einhorn is looking at because I'm not seeing that. I do think it's sticky on the downside. It always has been in earlier periods of higher inflation moderating to lower inflation. So that's not a surprise. Uh, and it may prove, as Mr. Cohen said, hard, really hard to get to 2%. And I think it's possible that just isn't achievable, uh, at least over the medium term. Um, my own expectation is uh, pretty much in line with the latest market expectations. I think as of earlier today, there was about a 56% chance based on the futures markets of the first cut taking place in June and still a base case of three cuts. I think that's as logical a scenario as any. I paid a lot of attention to Chairman Powell's own comments, as Steve Leisman was talking about a few minutes ago. Uh, and as Steve said, he clearly wants to cut, and he essentially brushed off the latest data as not changing their basic framework. Uh, and so absent negative data, and that could happen tomorrow morning with the jobs report, but absent negative data that is seen as continuing, and by negative I mean stronger than expected, on growth, jobs, and inflation, uh, I think that is still the most logical expectation. But if you say to me, is the risk, if I can put it that way, risk, quote, unquote, uh, more likely to be fewer cuts or more likely to be more cuts, I would agree with the sentiment that Einhorn expressed in that case, such that the risk is, is fewer cuts rather than more. But what if the last mile here, Roger, is much more sticky than, than we thought? Well, I think the Fed uh, wants to be sure that it doesn't keep uh, the funds rate at this level too long. And it's willing to take some risk uh, in that regard. Uh, and that's why I think Powell wants to cut. And I, I agree with the sentiment expressed by someone earlier on the show that might be good to get the first cut in before the absolute height of the election season. Um, but it, look, again, uh, inflation is is always, if you look at the uh, the episode in the late 70s and early 80s, the last time we had really high inflation, although it was higher than this then, of course, uh, it proved really hard until we got the Volcker recession, and that was a deep one, to bring it down to the Fed's target. So it shouldn't surprise anybody that it's going to be hard to get from 3 to 3.2 percent, which is where we are now on most measures, to 2 percent. And whether or not we really need to get to 2 percent, I think, is debatable. I mean, debatable in the sense that uh, as to whether uh, it's really required for economic stability and debatable as to whether the Fed will really require it also from its own point of view.